we've got a nice little flow today, um, kind of um, getting into more of our handstand practice and really enjoying just moving the body and getting energized. Um, today, we're also going to focus on kind of like going front to back and practicing those three different variations of entry to handstand. So one is split. Number two is wide leg and the other is like a tuck. So knee tuck and then popping straight up. Um, anytime during your practice, if you feel uncomfortable about going upside down, go against a wall, but still try and practice. Because the thing is, if you never practice this, it will never actually become something you get over as far as fear. Everybody that can do a handstand or I'm sorry, everybody that can do a downward facing dog and a push up can get into a handstand. They just have to practice it because it's just about comfortability at that point because strength is already there. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started in child's pose. Fingertips forward and knees out wide. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Knees a little wider apart. Again, full breath in. Full breath out. And let's roll forward to hands and knees. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, cat, run, tuck and curl the spine. Inhale, cow, drop the lift gaze. Alexa, turn on living room lights. Exhale, light. cat, run, tuck Alexa. and curl the spine. Oh. Turn on living room lights. Then inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, cat, run, tuck and curl the spine. Come back to neutral. Right hand down, left arm reaches straight up. Full breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, drop down to your left ear and your left shoulder. Keep the left shoulder and left ear down and deepen your breath. Again, full breaths in, full breaths out. Deep twist, full breaths in, and full breaths out. Together, take the arm back all the way up toward the sky, and then drop the hand down. Lift your left arm up. Let's thread the needle drop down to your left ear and your left shoulder. And you can reach your right arm forward a little bit. Deepen your breath. Bring your right hand back underneath your shoulder. Lift your left arm. Left hand comes down. Inhale, cow, drop the blade, lift the gaze. Exhale, cat, round, tuck, and curl. Come back to neutral. Left hand, left knee is down. Modified side plank. Lift your right foot. Lift your right arm. Full breath in. Reach your right arm all the way forward. Find extension. And then exhale, pull elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee, grab for your foot, big kick back. Certainly rotate your right shoulder. And then go ahead and release your right hand down. Keep your right leg lifted up. And then all 10 toes facing forward, lift your right leg a little higher, bend the knee, heel toward your butt, and then take the leg out to the side. We're gonna take four circles, down and around for four. Three, two, one, go ahead and switch direction. Four, Three, two, one. Straighten your right leg out, drop the foot, and then flex your foot as you draw your hips back. <sighs> Let's come back up, lift your right leg up and back behind you, straight leg, then bend the knee, take your right leg over your left, cow face legs, drop the hips back. Let your head drop down toward the knees. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And then come back to neutral. Tabletop. Right hand, right knee is down. Modified side plank. Lift your left arm. Lift your left foot. Reach your left arm all the way forward. Full inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Grab your foot, big kick back. Externally rotate your left shoulder. Drive your left flex upper to, hip flexor to open up and keep kicking. Let's take the left hand back down, all 10 toes face forward. And then I want you to extend the leg and that bent knee lift it up a little bit higher. Like take four down and around hip openers. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and switch direction. Out and back. Four, three, two, and one. Open up the leg and extend it. Drop the foot down and then send the hips back. Drop your head for four, three, two, and one. Come all the way back up, lift the left leg, take it behind you, bend the knee, slide the left leg over your right, cow face leg. Drop the head, chin towards your knees. <sighs> Come back to your tabletop. Inhale, cow, drop belly lift, gaze. Exhale, cat, round, tuck, and curl. Tuck the toes, round the spine, pull your chin to your chest. Pull your knees into your belly. And then downward facing dog, push all the way back. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg. Exhale, switch. Bend both knees. Exhale, straighten both legs. And then roll forward into plank. From your plank, hold right here, press the mat away. Take your right knee to your right tricep. We're gonna go down to the wrist and back up. So belly down, core here for five, four, three, two, one. Send it back to plank. Lift the left leg, left knee, left tricep, core, down to wrist, back up. Five, four, three, two, one, send it back to plank. Lower down to your bellies. We'll take wide cobra, turn your fingertips out to the side. Inhale, lift your head, neck and chest. And exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift your head, neck and chest. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift, pause. And then lower all the way back down. Plant your hands, press up to plank. Let's take five push-ups and then find up dog to down dog. Up dog, and then all the way back to your down dog. So now you should be pretty warm, kind of ready to move a little bit more. Come high onto the toes, bend your knees, look forward and hop to the top. Let's take a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand. Arms come above your head. Bring your hands to heart. Just take a moment to find your intention for practice. Inhale, lift your arms back up. Take a back bend, hips forward, arms out. Inhale, lift. Swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands plant, hop back to plank. Come two inches forward on the toes. Take your push-ups. So as many as you want to take. It's your Friday, your time. Find up dog. And all the way back to your down dog. And full breath in. Full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, big hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand. Back bend, hips forward. Inhale, lift. Swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, big hop back. Let's flow, chaturanga, on your push-ups. And back to down dog. One more warm up just like that. Bend your knees, look forward, big hop. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand. Back bend, exhale. Inhale, lift. 
Swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands, hop back to plank. Take your push-ups and flow. Down dog. Bend your left knee, straighten your right leg. Exhale, switch. Bend your knees, look forward, big hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Tuck the belly in. Lift your arms. And then take a little back bend. Chest up, arms out to the side. Sit a little bit lower through the heels. Flex your toes. Four, three, two, one. Come to the toes. Reach your arms forward around the spine. For four, three, two, and one. Airplane your arms. Drop your heels down. Pull your left knee up and in. Extend your left leg forward. Lift your arms above your head. Hold. And for five, four, three, two, one. Left knee bends. Take figure four. Lower yourself down. Flex your left foot. Grab a little bit more depth into it. For five, four, three, two, on one, come all the way up, pull your left knee in, take a big circle with your left leg for bent airplane. Heel toward your butt, arms reach back. For four, three, two, one, Shiva squat, left knee back of right calf, heel toward your butt, hands to heart. Four, three, two, on one, hands come down to the mat. We'll go standing split to start. Left toes all the way up. We've been practicing in this transition all week. Drop your head, walk your hands underneath your shoulders, and then come to your right tippy toes. Let's try and press your arms to straighten. Pull your chin to your chest. Put more weight into your hands than your foot if you can. Chin to chest, three, strong core, two, and one, look back behind you. Step back to high lunge. Arms come above your head. Bend your back knee. And then elbows bend, cactus your arms, chest lifts. Here for four, three, two, straighten your back leg, airplane your arms, lean your body forward. For three, two, extended crescent, reach your arms forward. Pause for four, three, two, one hand to the mat, three-legged dog, right leg high. You're gonna take a little hop and then pull yourself forward into plank. Take your push-ups, flow up dog to down dog. So good. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward. Big hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Arms lift above your head. Elbows bend. And then together, round the spine, come to your toes. Think cat spine. Heels come down, airplane your arms. Right knee comes up and in. Right leg comes forward, arms come above your head. Holding here for four. Core engaged, right leg higher, three, two. One right knee bends, figure four, right leg on top of left, sink low. Deepen your breaths in, deepen your breaths out. Four, three, two, one. right knee comes back up and in. Take a big circle with your right leg for bent leg airplane. Heel toward your butt, arms extend back, shoulders down the back. Holding here for five, for four, core active. Three, two, and one right into Shiva squat, right knee back of left calf, hands come to heart. Think a little lower, here for four, three, two, one standing split, hands come in front of you, and then extend your right leg all the way up, keep your hands under your shoulders, push your arms to straighten as you come to your left toes, drop your head toward your shin, here for four, three, two, and one step back behind you for high lunge, from here, bend your back knee, cactus your arms, elbows to the outside of your body. Hold for four, 
three, two, one. Airplane your arms straight in your back leg, lean your body forward. Deep breaths. Extend your arms forward. Hold for four, three, two, one. Hands come to the ground. Three-legged dog, left leg high. Take a little hop and then roll yourself through plank. Find your push-ups and flow. So good. I'm gonna add on from here, now that we are officially warm. Bend your knees, look forward. Big hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, sit low. Arms lift. Practice your elbows. Take a little back bend. Cat spine, reach your arms forward and come to your toes. Heels down, airplane arms. Left knee comes up and in. One legged mountain, send the leg forward. Bend your knee, take figure four, sink low. Inhale, lift your left knee. Take bent leg airplane, slide the leg behind you, reach your arms back. Shiva squat. From Shiva, come to standing split onto your right toes. Lengthen on your inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat, and then you're gonna take that hop again. So, little hop and back to Shiva. Again, hop, five, back down, four, three. Try and look through your hands, two, and take that last one. Step behind you, high lunge, arms above your head. Bend your back knee, cactus your elbows. Airplane arms, straighten your back leg. Extended crescent, reach your arms forward. Hands come to the ground, low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg takes a little hop up. Bring yourself forward and flow. All the way back to down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale your left leg or bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Come into chair. Weight into your heels, lift your arms. Back bend. Reach arms forward, come to your toes. Heels down, airplane arms. Right knee comes up and in. Right leg goes forward. Bend your right knee, figure four. Right knee comes in. Big circle with your right leg. Bent leg airplane. Shiva squat. Hands underneath you. Come to your left toes. Standing split, lengthen. Exhale, Shiva to handstand hop. Five times. Five, four, three, two. Look under your hands. Keep your arms straight if you can. And step behind you for high lunge. Arms come up. Bend your back knee, cactus your arms. Airplane arms, lean your body forward. Extended crescent, reach forward. Bring your hands down to the ground, three-legged dog, take a little hop, and flow through your chaturanga. Back to down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Together, bend your knees, look forward. We're gonna build, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, sit low, arms lift. Cactus arms, come to your heels. Reach your arms forward, come to your toes. Airplane arms, heels down. Left knee comes in, extend left leg forward. Bend your left knee, figure four, sink low. Left knee comes back up and in, bent leg airplane. Shiva. Standing split handstand hops, five of them. Five, four, practice. Three, two, one. Step behind you, high lunge. Bend your back knee, cactus your arms. Airplane arms, straighten your back leg, lean your body forward. Extended crescent. Now from here, low lunge, right leg high, take one hop, and then step your right foot through your hands, 
or high lunge, so warrior two, drop your back heel down, open your arms. Shoulders down the back, sink a little bit lower through your right knee. For four, three, two, one, reverse your warrior, lift your right arm, lengthen your side body. Right arm comes down, side angle pose. Lengthen. Nice. Come into horse pose, heels and toes out, hands to thighs. Yeah, really good. Sink a little bit lower. Now from here, we're gonna come into our wide-legged hops. Point your toes in, take your hands underneath your shoulders, and then you can widen your legs a little bit more, but come to your toes, bend your knees, hips towards heels, and then pop straight up. Think about hips over shoulders, okay? Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up to star. Right knee bends, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg high, little hop. Bring yourself forward and flow to your chaturanga. All the way back to down dog. The full inhale. Full exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose. Arms come up. Back bend, exhale. Cat, reach your arms forward, come to your toes. Airplane arms, heels down. Right knee comes in, inhale. Extend the right leg forward on your exhale. Bend your right knee, figure four, sink low. Right knee comes in. Big circle with your right leg, bent leg airplane. Shiva. Hands come down for standing split onto your left toes, lengthen. Shiva to handstand hop, five. Four, practicing, lengthening. Three, trusting your balance. Two, and one. Let's step back to low lunge, the bent back knee. Lift your arms, back bend. Airplane arms, lean forward. Extended crescent, reach your arms forward. Hands come down to the ground, low lunge, three-legged dog. So here we're gonna take a little hop, then we're gonna step the left foot forward. Where to? Out and open. Nice, that looks beautiful. Shoulders down the back. More weight into the front knee. Drive the back heel down. Together, reverse your wear. Lift and lengthen your left arm. So good. Side angle pose, left arm comes down. Reach your right arm forward. Four, three, two, one right into horse pose, hands to thighs. Drive a little bit more weight down. So same thing here with these wide handstand hops. Super important, you guys, to try and keep your arms straight and right underneath your shoulders, okay? So turn the toes in, bring your hands under shoulders, keep them straight if you can, bend your knees, look through your hands, pop up, think about legs going wide, hip stacking over shoulders. And as many as you can, maybe even hold one of them. And, Wide legged fold when you're done. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up to star. Left knee bends, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Side angle, exhale. Inhale. Low lunge, hands surround your left foot. Three legged dog, little hop. Bring yourself through and flow, chaturanga. Down dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time crouch and curl. Come to your toes. I want you to reach your arms forward. Try and lift your head, neck, and chest a little bit off of your thighs. Reach your arms forward. 
And take your heels together, knees out wide. As slow as you can, you're gonna lower down to your butt and then pop up into boat pose with your toes and your heels together, soles of your feet together. Lift and lengthen, pull your knees in a little closer. For three, we're gonna lower to the back in two, slow to lower, soles of your feet stay together. Now keep your knees stacked over your hips. We've been practicing this all week. Hands to your ears, lift your head, neck and chest, upper back off the ground and then lower back down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted at the top, hold, reach your arms to the side of you. We go right to left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted at the top, we go in to out. So bring your hands between your legs, keep your knees over your hips, lift, and then arms come out. So it's crunch in, crunch out, in, out. Eight, think lower abs, lower back down, squeezing down toward the mat, three, two, one, stay lifted at the top, hold here. Bring your knees in together. Keep your knees stacked over your hips. Right leg goes long. Right knee comes in, knees stacked. Left leg comes forward. Left knee comes in. Both legs go forward. Keep your low back down. Both knees come in. One more time with the right leg. Keep your low back down. Knees come in. Left leg forward. Knees come in. Both legs forward, hold. Knees come in, rock and roll forward and back. Meet me in chair. Arms lift, create that little back bend. Think about cow spine. And then cat chair, so you're rounding and scooping. Heels down, arms reach back. Left knee comes in. Left leg forward, arms above your head. Figure four, left leg over right, sink low. Reach your arms forward, create a little diamond shape, first finger in your thumb. Come back up, left knee in, left leg all the way back behind you, bent leg airplane. Right into Shiva. Again, same thing, hands underneath you. Never get to something you never practice. So onto the toes, five handstand hops or holds. Five, four, three, two, one. We all step back to bent leg, low lunge or high lunge rather. Back knee bends, arms lift. Bend your elbows, cactus. Airplane arms, lean your body forward. Reach your arms forward, extended crescent. Hands come down to the mat, low lunge, three-legged dog. Little hop, right foot steps forward to warrior two. All the way out and open. Beautiful to kneel. Reverse the warrior, inhale, lift your right arm. Side angle pose, right arm comes down, left arm reaches. Horse pose, hands to thighs. Again, same thing here, five wide handstand hops or you hold the handstand, let's go. Even if you're against a wall, five, four, three, two, and one. If you're not sweating already, I don't want to tell you, I gotta take a layer off. Holding your wide-legged fold just for a moment, it would take a halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Rise up to star. Right knee bends, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Low lunge, three-legged dog, handstand hop. Bring yourself forward and flow chaturanga. So good, you guys. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, crouch and curl. Reach your arms forward, lift your chest. Engage your core. Knees out wide. Think round spine as you drop your belly or your butt toward the ground. Soles of your feet together, hold. Shoulders down the back, core active. A Little bit of a rounded spine as we lower down to the back. Four, three, two, and one, keep your knees stacked over your hips. Take your hands to the outside of your ears. Lift for 10, 
nine. Remember, knees over hips is super important. You guys don't pull in. You'll lose some of that effort of keeping your low back down. Four, three, two, one. Stay lifted at the top. We go out to in. So out to in, out to in, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep it going, three, keep your low back down, two, one, stay lifted at the top, hold here. Now bring your knees in together, keep them stacked over your hips. You can drop your head, neck and chest if you need to, right leg forward, keep your low back down, right knee comes in, left leg comes forward. If your low back lifts off the ground, you guys start at neutral again, both knees in, both legs straighten, pull back in, right leg long. Right leg comes in, left leg long. Left knee comes in, both legs lengthen. Both knees come in, one more set. Right leg long, knee over hip, pull in. Left leg long, knee over hip. Both knees in, both legs straight, hold. Keep your low back squeezing down. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees come in, rock and roll forward and back. Meet me in chair, however you can manage to get there. Chair pose, arms lift. A little bit of a cow spine as you pull your elbows in toward your rib cage. Reach your arms forward, come to the toes. Heels down, airplane arms. Right knee comes in, inhale. Straighten right leg forward, exhale. Bend the knee, figure four, reach your arms forward. First finger and your thumb connect. Right knee comes back in. Big circle with your right leg for bent leg airplane. Right into Shiva, hands to the ground, come to your left toes, five handstand hops or hold. Five, four, three, two, and one step back to bent leg, high lunge, arms up. Back then exhale. Airplane your arms, lean your body forward. Extend your arms forward, extended crescent. Hands come down to the mat, low lunge. Left leg comes high, little hop. Left foot steps forward to low lunge. Warrior two. Reverse inhale. Side angle exhale. Horse pose, hands to thighs. All right, you guys, five hops or hold for five. Let's go. Wide legged, straight in. Five, four, three, two, and one. We'll meet in a wide-legged fold. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up to star. Left knee bends, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Low lunge. Same thing, you guys, left leg high, handstand hop and flow through Chaturanga. All the way back to down dog. Full inhale, full exhale. All right, adding on, bend the knees, look forward, hop to the top, inhale, half lift, exhale, crouch and curl. Knees out wide. So super important for when you're practicing handstands, if you feel like your core is not active, it's gonna be really hard to hold yourself up for a lot of reasons, okay? So really important to get this core foundation. Reach your arms forward, round the spine, lower down to your butts. Knees come in, soles of your feet together. Knees come out wide. Reach your arms forward. So from here, you're gonna take the hands behind you. Lean back just a little bit. We're gonna go ins to outs. Legs are gonna be out wide, and then you're gonna extend, and then legs come back out, pull in. Eight. Seven, keep compression, full extension. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold out. Can you reach your arms forward or behind you? Lay onto your backs. Rock and roll forward and back. Come into your chair. Now, from your chair, you guys, you're going to come to a hovering tabletop. Hands come down. And a hop to that hovering tabletop. It's going to be a hop straight up from here. You can take it back a little further if you need to. You're going to look forward, think about turbo dog, 
pull up and in and then come back down. Now the trick, well, nothing is really a trick. The tip with this one is it's super important to find this cow spine so that your hips can come over your shoulders. If you never do that, you're never gonna go anywhere. The other thing too is look between your hands, not too far forward and not too far back. Okay, so bend, think hips over shoulders and heels toward your butt. A couple times, it's kind of like a donkey kick. And one, let's come into chair. Good job, nice Jen. Looks good, Carol. Come into chair. I'm sweating. Shoulders down the back. Cat, reach your arms forward, come to your toes. Airplane arms. Left knee comes up and in. Left leg straightens. Bend your left knee, figure four. First finger in your thumb, connect, sink low. Left knee comes back in. Send the leg back for bent leg airplane. And then reach your arms forward, warrior three, straighten your back leg. From warrior three, come into Shiva. From Shiva, same thing, handstand hops or hold. I would like you to try and come against the wall if you feel like you can hold a little longer and just build some strength. For five, can you hold that split leg? Five, right leg to the sky, left foot maybe toward the wall. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and come back to the mat, step back to high lunge, bent back leg, arms lift, back bend. Airplane arms, lean your body forward. Extended crescent, reach forward. Hands come to the ground, low lunge, three-legged dog, right leg high, take a little hop, step your right foot forward, way or two. You've got the rhythm now. Reverse your wear. Side angle pose. Into horse. Okay, so if you feel like you've got the foundation set for these wide-legged lifts, I want you to come against the wall and try it out from there, okay? And the reason is because I want you to get a longer hold this time. If you feel like you can do it in the center of the room, great, but I'd like you to hop less Coming into it just one time, maybe you're up against the wall and you just hop straight up and hit your butt against the wall. You might lower back down, but eventually get yourself up there, drive one foot into the wall and then see if you can set the other foot in, okay? So go ahead and try that or you're in the center of the room. We're gonna try for 15 seconds, okay? So 15 seconds, starting now. Ooh. 10, oop, overshot that one, nine. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From wherever you're at, come back to your wide legged fold. Interlace the hands at your low back. Take a chest expansion. Give yourself a little wrist and shoulder stretch, chin to chest. Release that. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up to star. Right knee bends, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Side angle pose, listen for the change, you guys. From here, we're gonna come to reverse triangle. Straighten your right leg, lift your right arm. And then come into triangle pose, right hand comes to the inside of your thigh. Okay, so a couple options. Take your left arm up and around the back for a half bind and then reach your right arm forward from our core work or you can reach both arms forward. Super important, again, for all of our handstand work to develop a strong foundation with our core. Tuck, roll your left shoulder back. So good. Now look forward, reach your right arm all the way forward, bend your front knee, take half moon. Now you can keep a bind here or bend your back knee, grab for the foot, just like we started our practice and take a big kick back. Open up through the left hip, here for four, three, two, one, bring that into standing split. Okay, so again, another opportunity to get against the wall. Your left toes are gonna try and get the wall. Your right leg is gonna try and straighten. And if you're not sure about the wall situation, you can watch me here. So the left toes come up toward, oh, and don't try and kick your window like me. Come up toward the wall with your left toes. And then maybe your right leg can like straighten up. The further away from the wall you are, you guys, the better, because you have more room to kind of like kick up. If you're too close, you're just gonna bounce right back. So if you can, try and keep like um, a shins width distance away from the wall and press away. 
So your practice time for five. Try and straighten your right leg straight up to the sky. And if you can, straighten both legs. So good. And softly stepping back to low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg high. Take a little hop and flow through chaturanga. So good. Take a full breath in. Run that home stretch, by the way, you guys. Full breath out. Inhale, bend your knees. Look forward, hop to the top. Okay, from here, you're gonna hop back halfway to that hovering tabletop. You're gonna take five hops straight up. Remember those little donkey kicks that probably you either loved or hated? Same thing. So hop halfway back, bend your knees, hips to heels, and then think, hop straight up. Okay, let's see how we're doing. So hips over shoulders. Oh, Carol! Yeah, exactly. It's Neil, really good. Keep looking through your hands. Nice, Jen. Look through your hands, not too far forward. Really nice. Two. Oh my God, you guys are improving so much. Carol, you are right up there. And one, both feet come down. We're straight into chair, right back into chair. So good to see you guys practicing so hard. Heels down, arms lift, cactus the arms. Reach arms forward, come to the toes. Airplane arms, heels down. Right knee comes in. Right leg forward, arms above your head. Bend your knee, figure four. Right back up. Right leg all the way back, bent leg airplane. Shiva. And from here, we're gonna go straight into warrior three. Reach arms forward, extend your leg back. Now I come to Shiva, handstand hops or hold. Maybe you're against the wall, maybe you're trying to get that longer hold time. Four, three, two, and one. Let's step back, bent leg, high lunge. Airplane arms, lean your body forward. Extended crescent, reach your arms forward. Hands come down to low lunge, left leg comes high, little hop to step your left foot forward to warrior two. Yes, solid. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle, exhale. Horse pose. Last practice time for this wide-legged set, you guys. So again, against the wall or in the center of the room. I want you in handstand practicing, okay? So you got 30 seconds this time. 30 seconds to do your thing. Either against the wall or you're just practicing your hops or you're holding in the center of the room. Maybe a little slight taps on the wall if you've got it. So good. Last 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Come back down. Take a wide legged fold. Bend your knees just a little bit. Interlace the hands at your low back. Opposite grip, chest expansion, chin towards chest. Release. Take a halfway lift, exhale, fold. Where's all the way up to star? Left knee bends, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg, lift your left arm. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach your right arm forward and then take it all the way around your back for half bind and then maybe reach your left arm forward, core strengthening, hold and lengthen. Maybe you can make one line of energy from your right foot to your right hand. And for four, tilt your chest up. Three, two, you're gonna bend your left knee, look forward, come to half moon. You can either keep the bind or you can bend your right knee, grab for the foot. Take a big kick back, open out. For four, three, two, one, go ahead and release into standing split. Last chance for this um, split leg handstand. Maybe you're coming against the wall. Again, about a shins width distance away from the wall is probably best, not too far away. Otherwise you're practicing your hops, but I prefer a little bit of a hold if you can. Last five. <laughs> Last four, oh man. Last three, two, 
and one step back to your low lunge. Three-legged dog, last little handstand hop, and flow through your last chaturanga. All the way back to down dog. Bend your knees, look forward, hop in a frog this time. Sit yourself a little lower, hands to heart space, sit up tall. Now from here, you're gonna do some wrist stretch. So if the frog just doesn't feel good, you can just come to your butts anyway. I just like to be efficient. So we're doing two things at once, compound movement. Um, take your hands together, make big circles, so palms out and then flip. So the palms face in and back out. So you're just kind of rolling to the back of your hands one direction and then back palms together. So five, four, whew, three, two, switch direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit your butts down, cross-legged seat, lift your arms above your head. Now from here, you're gonna take your hands out to big extension and then bring in together and open. So close, open, close, open. So we're kind of get blood flow into the wrist. It's super important, you guys, when you do arm balances and inversions that you start to um, think about your wrist. Like the more blood flow you have, the more opportunity they get to heal up. So if you don't put blood flow into a certain part of the body, it doesn't get a chance to heal. Blood helps heal. So you're you know, doing hard work on those ligaments and your joints, you've got to give them a chance to kind of like get some blood, get some oxygen, get some healing. Four, three, two, one, big circles down and around. Five, make fists. Four, three, two, get all those crunchinesses out, all the way down and around the other direction. Four, three, two, one, just take um, your arms out like you're uh, just drying off your hands, just like that, yep. Last one together, we're gonna take little spiders. Both hands are like spiders, they're gonna touch fingertips, pads together. I'm gonna bring the hands in and then come out. So in and out, in and out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Clasp the hands together, take them above your head and flip so the palms are facing down. Back up, flip the palms, and then palms flip to face the head. Bring that out in front of you, flip the palms. Other direction, stretch, reach, extend, flip. One more, reach, extend, and flip. Now lift your arms above your head, take your hands to heart space. Shoulders down the back. Just take a moment to thank yourself for showing up. A big breath in, open mouth, let it go. <sighs> yourself for your efforts, challenging yourself. Your hands third eye center, back forward, sealing our practice. Thank you. Thanks friends, awesome job. Ooh, handstands are fun, but handstands